Hey guys, how are you? Um, I just want to make a video. Um, well, yesterday, my birthday was yesterday. Um, so yesterday, my birthday was yesterday. I always mix up my words and all that. Um, anyway, yeah, my birthday was yesterday. Um, and I got a couple of cool gadgets. One's really good and one's really good as well. <laughs> the first gadget I got was this. And it's a um, Hercules uh, DJ mixer, and I'll be doing a review on that. Secondly, I've got these golden futuristic shoes, which the video is going to be about. I'm going to teach you how to get on them, and how to walk and jump on them. So I got them here. Basically, what you need to do is angle it down slightly. I'm on my tripod. Angle it down. There's the rest here where you put your foot. So put your foot in. Don't matter which way around the boot goes, really. Just as long as you put it in, it's fine. But no, not that one. There is one where I think there's a new spring on it. Um, and it hasn't worn away yet, or it hasn't gotten trod in yet. But anyway, there's a strap here, this goes over the front of your foot, so I'll do that. Well, like I said, you won't get it first time, I didn't get it first time, but I was like really scared to get on them, because they're so high up, you're about an extra foot off the ground. And um, these are what you have at the bottom to keep you up properly. And anyway, yeah, we have another strap here, which you clip in like that, and make sure to tighten it because you don't want to fall out of these. Well, technically, they're dangerous if you're new to them because make sure to wear your helmet and your knee pads and everything. They're dangerous if you're new to them because um, your balance goes. So there's an extra strap here around the back to support the underneath bit of my leg. My knee, should I say. You have to make sure to do it fairly tight because, like I said, you do not want to fall out. And the tighter you have it, the easier it is, believe it or not. Um, that's because you have more balance. Um, and they're not wobbling around. So you have another strap here to go around the middle part of your leg. And that one's now on. Now I have to put on this one. So repeating the same process. I'll see you once I've done that. As you can see, i got both of them on now. These are what they're like. The thing at the back is a giant carbon fibre string, uh, spring, and I'll show you how to. Sorry about the lighting, but anyway, when you get up, basically I should have done it on a higher surface because it would have been easier. You could just get right up. But if you're getting up for the first time, lift your body, right, and swing around onto a door like this and work your way up on the door, okay, just like that, and to get back down again, you can either just lean your body, spin, slowly let yourself down, like that, and let's take you outside. So guys, now we have made it outside, I'm going to teach you how to keep balance and keep walking on them. So let's do that. So always make sure to have something near to hold on to when you're first going to start out. But as you can see, they're almost, you may or may not slip on slippery surfaces, <laughs> like I just did, that was a fail. <laughs> But anyway, as you can see I got them on, and how you walk is, if you keep moving like this, look, you're going to be alright. 
Okay, I'm gonna walk towards you. So it's just like walking. Don't think that you're stood on the actual peg at the bottom. Think that you're just walking normally, but you have to keep moving, you can't stop. Alright. Okay. Now, another thing to know is how to run. I can't really do it well in here, but I can try. You have to keep this motion. Like that. Jumping, you basically lift the whole body. So you're like, you do that. And basically if you keep moving, you'll be all right. So that's basically these running stilts. I hope you like the video. I hope you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.